What's up, everybody? This is DJ Endo. A triple macro is a MIDI or hotkey command I can set in Tractor to do three things with one action, such as pushing a button or pushing a pad on my MIDI controller. What I like to do is have one button to jump to Q.1 to play the track and sync the track. So now I'm going to show you how I map a triple macro for Q, play, sync. I'm going to first go to my preferences. And then I'm going to go to my controller manager. This is where I manage all my MIDI and hotkey mappings in Tractor. Now I'm going to go to my device menu and select generic keyboard. For the purposes of this video, my generic keyboard mapping is empty, but you'll probably see a lot of things already in your keyboard mapping. So now I'm going to add a new command by clicking on add in. Then I'm going to go to Q loops and select set and store hot cue. Now I'm going to make this command assigned to deck A by going to my assignment drop down menu and clicking on deck A. And then I'm going to click on the learn button. And I'm going to use my bracket left button for this. And now down below where it says set to value, I'm going to choose hot Q1. Now I'm actually going to duplicate this command because I want to do the same thing for deck B. So I'm going to click on duplicate and then change the assignment to deck B. Click on learn and then click the right bracket. So now I have a button to jump to hot Q1 in both tracks. Now I'm going to set a button so I can play both tracks with the same button. I'm going to click on add in, transport, play pause, click on learn. I'm going to click on the left bracket because this is going to be for deck A. I'm going to change the assignment to deck A. And then I'm going to change the interaction mode down below to direct. And where it says set to value, I'm going to change the value to 1. Now, what this means, 1 is always on and 0 is always off. So if I have it set to 1, when I hit this button, the track will play. Now I'm going to duplicate this command and set the assignment to deck B. And then with the learn selected, I'm going to hit the right bracket. So now I have two buttons for play and pause for both deck A and B. Now I'm going to set my third command for sync. I'm going to do this by clicking on add in and then tempo and sync. I'm going to change the assignment to deck A. Click on learn. Click on the left bracket. Then I'm going to change the interaction mode to direct and set to value will be one. So this will make it so when I hit that button, it will automatically turn the sync on and it won't ever turn off. Now I'm going to duplicate this command and do the same thing for deck B by changing the assignment to deck B, clicking on learn and clicking on the right bracket. So now you see right here that the sync command is highlighted in three sections. This will mean that this button, bracket right, is actually doing three different things. So now when I go back to my tractor window, I'm going to use my key commands for play, sync, and Q.1. So now I'm going to hit my left bracket button. And when I press this button, deck A is going to sync to my master clock, which is set to 127 BPM. Now I'm going to go to deck B, and when I hit my right bracket button, deck B is going to start playback from Q.1, and also the sync will be on, and it will play forwards. Here we go. You can hear the two tracks are perfectly in sync. This is because I have beat grids perfectly set for both tracks. Thanks for watching. This is DJ Endo, 
And for more tutorial videos from DubSpot, check out DubSpot's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash DubSpot.